Hey guys, and welcome back to another video of our Let's Play on The Walking Dead Season 3. This is part number 4 of episode number 3, Above the Law. And lastly, what we did is we came to this little uh, factory type weird warehouse storage thing where we're supposed to be getting some shelter from uh, all the walkers. David turned up unexpectedly because we didn't realise he was coming. And we found out that there was a lot of supplies stolen from all different camps from around the place. And after that, we found out that Max, the guy who uh, originally kidnapped us, and Badger, the guy who killed um, Maria, was behind it all. And we've killed both of them, even though we had the option not to, but I wanted revenge, and oh sweet, and revenge is also sweet. So yeah, that's the end of them, but we're going to go back into it and see what everyone else had to say. I feel like Trip's going to be pissed off for me, because he seemed like he didn't want me to kill them, or at least he wanted me to kill them, but not go crazy on them. And I kind of did, but oh well. Let's see what happens now, because I have no idea. It's probably going to be a really short episode as well, but we'll find out. Hello. Where's Lonnie? He gave us the slip. Hightailed it back towards Richmond. Son of a bitch. If he warns Joan... What then about we're the other two? Oh. Yeah. What? It's good riddance. That son of a bitch killed Mariana. Did that make you feel better? Yeah, I knew I he was gonna fucking say that. I tears if I were you. Maybe I'm shedding them for your brother. Hey man, back the fuck off. I don't need a lecture from you. You need it from someone. You don't want to become the thing you hate. If he was stronger, he'd still be alive. He wasn't, so he isn't. That's that. Sometimes there's just no other way to make things right. My friend took a crowbar to someone once. Ah, yes, I remember that. My people need to know about what we found here. What about your missing friends? I'm surprised you care. Human oh, life isn't exactly off. high on your list of priorities. Don't have time to keep looking. They'd want me to get home and warn them. So that's what I'm gonna do. Sooner the better. You sure you'll be okay on your own? To be honest, I think my odds are better than yours. I won't forget about you. You have my word. It's a shitstorm out there, man. I don't see how you're gonna make it. One step at a time. He's made it this far, on his own. We need to get back to Richmond fast. We do. I have loved ones in there. We both we do. We both do. Exactly. We all do. Yep. I gotta break Eleanor out of there. Once she's safe, I... I'm gonna tell her how I feel. Yeah, we're not leaving hey, Eleanor there. If the mess never washes out, might as well get neck deep. We're gonna need There's... allies in Richmond. We've still got two more episodes after this, and this is good at quite a lot, so that's really good. If I get to them before Joan does, maybe we have a chance. I know I was ready to say goodbye before, but I can't do this without you. Can I count on you? I won't be able to pull this off myself. Of Fine. course, David. You're my brother. I never forgot that. Even if you did. I'm glad to hear that, Javi. You and I... We should talk when this is done. If Lonnie raises the alarm, they'll be waiting for us at the gates. There's a way in the back that'll get us around any sentries. We can take Badger's truck. I doubt he'll mind. Come on, we gotta yeah, get Yeah, fine. See now, it's closing it, now I think we're more friendly towards him. But we'll see because this could change very quickly, as it already has changed many times. But yeah, we've cleared up a lot in this episode. And we've still got two more, which makes me feel good, because I thought they were still going to have a lot to clear up after this. But apparently not. Apparently a lot of it has sorted itself out. Because I don't really know what could happen after this. So yeah, we'll find out, I guess. Taxi. <laughs> Didn't expect that, did you fuckers? I'm thinking this will go a lot better if we split up. A group no, this that's big the worst can't exactly to sneak around, particularly if they're expecting us. Eleanor's in there somewhere. I'm going after her. Lingard brought her to the clinic. That's your best bet. Javi, that's where you'll go to get Kate and Gabe. Then bring them to my house. It's the one with the raven on the hitching post. We'll all meet up there. After I pay a little visit to Joan. Stay out of sight. As soon as I can get Kate and Gabe, We'll see you back at the house. Roger that. Cool. Where's Clementine gonna go? Is it, she's gonna go save AJ, isn't she? I'll scout ahead. What about you, Clem? 
You want to know where AJ is? Sure, I've still got some friends in the New Frontier. If they know where AJ is being held, they'll tell me. As soon as I find him, I'm taking that truck and getting the hell out of here. Well, you are owed a vehicle. Can I go with you? Keep an eye on David. He may be playing nice, but I'd still watch your back. I know, that's what I'm thinking about. I'm with you, Clem. He rubs me the wrong way. As soon as I get Kate and Gabe, I'm gonna figure out what's best for us. Well, I hope it involves getting far away from here. Can I go with you? The only thing that matters is staying alive. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you fucking do it. See you when I see you. Yep. I feel like we're gonna see her again. If she does leave at the end of this episode, we are gonna see her again. David said to hang a ride up at that corner. Seems clear so far. Let's move. Let's be sneaky sneaky. Do we really have to go this fucking slow? Come on, you know man, Javi Garcia? Ah, shit, 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 shit. Used to play shortstop for Baltimore. That I wasn't Javier really Garcia? Anything, then. That's who we're looking for? Yeah. That Javier Garcia. Anyway, sounds like some paranoid horse shit. Guy's a fucking ball player. There's the medical the center. Go way back Brilliant. Stir up we go yeah. in, who we get out, we get Kate and Gabe, man. we get out. Right. What about our friends there? Doesn't exactly look like a welcoming committee. Here for a while. Smoke break. Damn it. We need a distraction. Throw a rock. Usually works. How's your throwing arm? That's exactly. I cannot. This game is too predictable. Oh, fuck. Wait. Throw it up there. What the fuck? Shit, we need to get the fire crew or that shit could burn down the block. It'll be fine. Couldn't have just taken out a window. Ah, shut Did up. The it's trick, fine. Didn't it? Yeah, there's no windows here. It's all boarded up. Plus, they would just looked over there, saw it was a rock, and then walk back again, or looked over where to where we were. But oh well, that's just my logic, isn't it? I feel like starting the fire is probably gonna be a good idea, to be honest. It'll be interesting for later on if it does actually mean anything. Hello. Is the doctor going to be on our Find side? Out. Tell her we have to move, Kate. You got it. I'll meet you here. Do not get killed. Hello. Harvey. Keep quiet. We thought you were... I was... super worried. Hey, buddy. I'm fine. I'm just fine. They said you guys were denied entry. It's true. We're on borrowed time. The people who run this place, they're ruthless. We have to move. Where's my dad? Is he coming? Don't worry, buddy. We're gonna go meet up with him. Excuse me? David has a house in town. He thinks we'll be okay there. Thanks. Then let's go. She doesn't want to go. Javi? While you were gone, this woman, Joan, came by. Ah, shit. I felt like she was sizing me up. It was creepy. She implied David was in trouble. Like, he was no longer in charge. Yeah, they think that. She kept saying Gabe and I didn't need to worry, but it only made me worry more. Joan's been running this place behind David's back. She's pulling the strings. What do you mean? The people who shot you? Answer to her. She ordered raids on other settlements. We found all this stuff from Prescott. She was behind Prescott? David's rounding up allies to confront her right now. Javi, I know you wanted to try it here, but this isn't our fight. We already lost Mari because of these people. Now, the whole place is about to become a war zone. The only thing I care about is keeping you safe. Then you know we can't get involved. Never said we were gonna. What's going on? Tripp said we had to move to David's house. Yeah. We're not doing that. We're getting the fuck out of Richmond before it's too late. Getting out? You shouldn't even be sitting up. What? W what about my dad? We can't just leave him. Gabe, 
We don't even know who he is anymore. We have to get away before he gets us all killed. But he won't know where we are. Again! I can't go back to how things were before. I'm sorry. I just can't. More people want to leave, though. We said we were going to go. I'm sorry, Gabe. But we have to get out of here. He's going to hate me, but it's true. If we're leaving, I've got to get some things for the road. Quick, then. All my stuff is stashed in the room they gave me. We've got a truck we can I'll get out. I'll come with you. We'll catch up with you guys. Because if, if we all Sounds leave, good. it'll be fine. But if we stay here, we're kind of fucked. Because the only person who wants us to stay here is Gabe. And I guess kind of David. <laughs> Gabe, come help. You can do it, Gabe. I got it. Come on, buddy. He doesn't want to leave. I'm not going, Javi. What? I'm gonna find my dad. I have to. He does. I'm sorry. He does. Okay, buddy. There's nothing gonna persuade him to I respect not. Respect that. <sighs> Thank you. Arguing with him is just gonna make Gabe. it worse. No. Kate. No. Please, Gabe. Please. I never thought I could be a mom. I never thought I wanted to be a mom until I met you and your sister. I'm begging you, don't do this. He, he it's my to. dad, Kate. I can't lose him again. And I can't lose you. Kate, come on. We have to respect his decision. I can't. Look at me, Gabe. Please. It's fair enough that he wants to go after his dad. I mean, there's nothing you can do to persuade him. It's what he wants to do. We're not able to treat him like a, like a kid anymore. Thing is, I know that Davis probably is on our side, but he will end up getting someone killed. And I'm not putting, I don't want to put anyone else in that risk, but there's no way of persuading him not to go. It's his father, Kate. It's what he wants. And this is what you want. What we want. We got so close in the last few years. I, I thought Gabe would want to stay with us. I really saw him as my kid. I guess he didn't feel the same way. He's growing up fast, Kate. We have to trust him to do what's right. I know. It's just hard to say goodbye. We can do it. I'd hold oh, it there, shit. folks. And I'd consider explaining yourselves. I'd talk yeah, fast. Man. Fast and clear. Could you please point those somewhere else? That's him, right? The brother? Thought so. Bring him in. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck! Someone's gonna get shot. And it's probably gonna be me. Run! She can't run, she can limp. That's about it. She's probably going to run to the house, isn't she? God damn it, we're going to get fucked here. We're going to have to go in front of Joan, aren't we? I, I keep wanting to call her Joanne, but that's not her name, it's Joan. Hello, we're back again. I don't again. like your tone, David. If this is about your brother... Don't pretend like you don't know what this is about. You've got a lot to answer for. Me? You must be joking. What's this? They were trying to leave. Him and his lady friend. Lee, I asked you to get Kate and Gabe safe, not tuck your tail and run. Were you really going to desert me when I needed you most? None of that. Sorry, good. David. We thought it was for the best. Great. Good to know you've got my back. Where are they now? Girl got away. No sign of the kid. The kid wants to meet you. We'll deal with this later. And despite what we all agreed, you smuggled your brother back into Richmond. What happened to you, David? It hurts me to see you betray your own people. Says you. You've got some damn nerve. We used to be so close. 
David didn't betray anyone. He can be hard to deal with, but he's always been loyal. I wish I could say the same for you. What are you people talking about? You know exactly what we're so talking about. So this is your play? You think you can pin this mess on me? What mess? Would someone please explain what's going on? I can. Lonnie? Go ahead, Lonnie. Tell us. They attacked us. Murdered Max and Badger. You fuckface. You son of a bitch. They would have got me too. But uh, I, I have to do that. I'm sorry, I have to. We did you a favor. Those bastards deserve to die. What? Those are our people you're talking about. They were attacking other settlements, killing and looting on Joan's orders. Is that true, Joan? <laughs> it's nothing but a smoke screen. A pretty damn transparent one, if you ask me. Lonnie, please tell me this isn't true. We did that. Raided those communities. Hurt those people. Because David told us to. He's with them, isn't he? Joan. I'm sorry, David. I can't do this anymore. I can't hurt anyone else. This is wrong. I am asking you, please tell them the truth. He's in. A, he knows. He's in on it. This is bullshit. He's covering for Joan. David, just stop. We knew this couldn't last forever. We confronted him. Me, Badger, and Max. We were done. Well, maybe that's why we he went down know. there. He said he didn't need us anymore. Not with his brother here now. He said I was staying. That's when he... That's when Badger and Max... That's enough! David, stop! Paul, you have to stop her. Or the blood from those raids, it's on your hands. Don't let Joan get away with this. Paul! Grow a fucking backbone, please. Stand up for what's right. I think you've caused enough trouble. I think you, caught, you haven't caused any Don't try and yet. drag him into your mess. The things you've done, they're an assault on what we built here. You and your brother, you're going to have to answer for them. I still have friends here, allies. This won't stand. You brought this on yourself, David. I'm sorry to say it, but you're done here. They were our family, David. How could you? I'll give you family! Ah, fuck you. That's the end. Episode 3, above the law. God damn it. Who's in, who's behind it then? Is it, is it, um, I don't, I don't know who the fuck's behind it then. I feel like they're trying to blame it on David, but it's, but it's not his fault. But then again, he could very easily lie at this point and me to believe him. So I don't know. But I still think it's Joanne that's behind, well, Joan that's behind her, because they, because he just fucking lashed out at them. So that makes more sense. But let's see what we got. Um, 34 percent players kept Mariana's murder to yourself. Yeah. I thought that I thought that'd be more split to be honest. It wasn't as split as I thought it'd be. But yeah, I fucking regret that. I should have just fucking said it. I really should have. Um, just try and save AJ. 84.9 inject. Yeah, because most people thought it'd be for the best. Because no no one's gonna believe him saying that he's just not gonna survive anyway. Um, how did Badger die? Destroyed Badger's skull. Killed Badger quickly. Players let him turn, and players let someone else kill him. Didn't know you could let someone else kill him. That's why it seems to be very little percent of people that did. Yeah, because you could leave him and then kill Badger quickly. That was just hit him the three times, wasn't it? But I hit him four times, so I completely destroyed his skull. That was my revenge. What was Max's fate? 43.5 killed Max. Or oh, watched David do it. That, I don't think, would have made much difference. Well, it, obviously it would have. But, I mean, like, when they got back to, um, when they got back to the place... It would really... It, I think he would have just turned against us anyway. So I think that would have been a bad idea to let him go. So I stay with my decision on that one. Um, who did you start with in the end? 46.7% players chose to leave with Kate. What, so they wanted to stay? After everything they've been through? They still wanted to fucking stay? I, no, I don't, agree, I don't agree with that. Is that the end? Yeah. I don't agree with that last one at all. 
I feel like pe more people would have uh, left because it made more sense to leave than it would have to stayed there. To have stayed there. But yeah, kind of in the minority for a few of them. That's fine. Um, yeah, the one with Max. I, I think if we let him go when he was saying about he'll be on our side, I feel like all it would have done is we would have gone back, then he would have turned on us the second we got to the point where we are now. So I don't think he would have fought with us. I thought he definitely would have fought against us. So yeah, that's episode three. Episode three above the law completed. No, I don't need these. I've already got this. So yeah. Very cool. I'm not sure what's going to happen next then. I assume next we're going to somehow get what the whoever's behind this actually killed. So that we try and escape. And then the fifth one's probably going to be us just like wandering around trying to find something to do. But yeah, these last two could be anything, which I don't really know. Thicker than water. When community threat him within, Javier manages to unlikely alliance for the safety of his loved ones. Doesn't hurt. That doesn't help me much. Anyway, yeah. Um, that's the end of this little part of the series. Next um, episode will obviously start with episode four. But as for now, and I thank you very much for watching, and until later, goodbye.